Hello chess friends, welcome back to the chess grind. Okay, I'm going to be playing a 15-10 today. La la la. 15-10 game today. Playing against the Puppet Chicago. Or just Puppet Chicago. Having a really hard time with my English today. Um, Really interesting opening from the opponent. I must say so myself. Haven't seen this one yet, so... Let's go protect the pawn. Hmm. I suppose I could have uh, went and attacked his pawn too there, but whatever. I don't quite understand this, but maybe it's not meant to be understood. All good. Maybe some secret theory opening, I don't know. Who knows, right? Who knows? <laughs> okay. DC's fine. <laughs> this is fine. Um, I really had a really had fun in that last game playing against AJ. I'm uh I'm slightly upset that I threw away my advantage with one blunder, but I just mis miscalculated that move, the rook move, and it cost me the whole game. <laughs> uh, it looked like I had a decent advantage going there, and then it just went down the toilet <laughs> with one move. So it's very on brand. The game was very on brand for me. <laughs> That's sort of what I'm really good at. <laughs> um, let's see, do I want to just let him take the pawn here? <clears throat> hmm. Um, I think I'll just let him recapture here. He's going to get rid of his G-pawn, so I'll have this check here. I think I can, if I just move the knight, I think I just win, right? <laughs> Isn't that just checkmate? Or am I missing something? If I can get my queen out onto h4. Am I missing something? Or is he gonna retake with the with the knight there? Is that the idea here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, sure. Hmm. Interesting. I've never seen this line before. I've never seen anyone play this. Very new to me. <clears throat> so that being said, good castle. Hmm. Neither push d6 or just castle. I think I'll just go for the early castle, why not? I like the early castle. Hmm. Interesting. He's got a lot of defense on d5. Hmm. What is this? What is this? <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out what this is all about. I'll just go d6 so I can at least free my bishop and let him roam a little bit. Let him get some fresh air on the board. Kind of getting stuffy on this back rank here. <coughs> Excuse me.
I was in a really similar position here. Uh, I was playing a game as white. And um, I, if, if I'm remembering correctly, there was something that I should have done, which was um, ignoring the bishop threat that was going towards uh, sort of this king's pawn here. And I had an opportunity to attack it like with a knight, but I didn't do that. And right now this knight's not really attacking anything. So I'm leaning towards attacking his bishop and forcing it into a square that he won't necessarily like. That's my goal. That's one way of doing it. There's also a5. There's also queen e7, bishop e6. And just, oh no, I can't do that. No, 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 never mind. Yeah, so I think uh, I'll just attack his bishop next move. Looked like he was trying to stop the knight jump here <clears throat> to b4. I'll attack his bishop. So it's a bit of a forcing move. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see. D5 is very heavily defended by him. I was thinking of possibly just going for some trades in the center here, but I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Hmm. His knight's really annoying here. I'll attack his queen. He'll probably be forced to go back to e2 with this knight here. Um, yeah, I don't like his knight. So. Oh, he wants to do that. Okay. Hmm. Could maybe look for like a sick fork. Man, I just really want to get this knight out of the way. I just don't like where it is. The fact that e6 is attacked twice. Hmm. I believe he just hung his pawn, right? Yeah, he just hung his pawn. Yeah. You hung your pawn for nothing. No reason not to take that. Oh, that's a pretty sick fork. Ouch. Is there anything I can force here? What do I care about more here? Maybe I'll just play a forcing move. Ah, uh, no. I was thinking something like bishop f3, but then he can just go f1. <clears throat> Good move by him. And see, he'll be forced to take with the queen here. Yeah, because if he recaptures with his knight, his knight's pinned here, so he'll have to get his queen out. And then my knight has to run away. Right? 
Uh, this is a bit of a bummer. This this move is kind of a mess. Oh, I actually have a really sick fork if he takes with his queen here. Knight f3. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this is a really good position for me. So if he wants to take with knight, I take his queen. If he takes his queen, I do check and then a fork. So this is very good for me. Very, very, very good. Das ist gut. Das ist gut. I'm happy here. What's it gonna be? My knight's in a really good spot here. He's basically blocking off f2, d2. So this king can't really run those squares. It's pretty neat. I like the position, man. I like the position. Okay, it's time to kill some dead air, so I'll just give a shameless plug. If you guys uh, ever want to play me, I typically do challenges on my Twitch stream. The link is up there in the little gray box. And I normally post when I'm available in my Discord server. And that would be in the link in the description. If that's something you're ever interested in. I'm kind of trying to build up a little community here. Okay, so that was the move that I was looking for. And now let's think about this. Before we before we do anything, let's think about this. He will have a sick fork. Next move. So I'm kind of forced to just get my queen out here, but I, I think it's going to be really hard not to take his queen. But he does have um, a fork. Well, no, he doesn't even have the fork because I just have the queen. Um, okay, cool. And then I'm going to follow it up with another really sick move. Oh, man. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Oof. I wish I could find these moves like every game. That'd be pretty sick. But it's not over yet. He can always still win. But yeah, going back to my previous point. Yeah, I'm kind of... Uh, uh, I, I kind of have some uh, mixed goals with uh, posting these videos. Part of it is just kind of getting better at chess and just documenting my progress. Uh, but part of it too is just being able to find people that are sort of at uh, either my level or like close to my level that I can sort of just play with like on a regular basis. Uh, which has been fairly successful. So I'm happy about that. So that's been pretty cool. This is the one downside to these longer games, is that obviously players take longer to make their moves. Player take longer. Players take longer to make their moves. Um, so naturally there will, will be a lot of dead air, so, uh, I'm going to do my best to kill said dead air. If I could make a move for him, it would be something like bishop e3, and then I lose my knight. So that would be, that would be my plan, plan of attack. <clears throat> I do need to start thinking about how I can start kicking these knights. Um, he does have this really sneaky bishop here that could potentially cause a problem down the road. Uh, so I need to be mindful of that. Um, I think next what I'll play is something like 
pawn c5 and then pawn c4. Just try to get this bishop tucked back in its little corner here. I just don't want to get checkmated to these knights, you know? I just think it'd be really unfortunate. <laughs> Yeah, because he does have a lot of very active threats here still. So I don't want to I don't want to discard this game entirely yet here. And I really only have well, I suppose I have one, two, three defenders on F7. So F7's not super weak yet. But there's a potential for it to be weak. Maybe if I was in his shoes, I would go something like, uh, I don't know, knight h5 and just put more pressure. Put more pressure here. King's a bit tight at the moment. He is thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. <laughs> Puppet Chicago is in a pickle. What is it going to be, Puppet Chicago? Abandon. Feels bad. All that dead air for nothing. Uh, he just uninstalled the game. Let's see, was there really any chance for him? I'm just kind of, okay, I'm not going to do a full review. Um, I don't think there was really much to review here. Um, I can just give some feedback to the opponent, I guess. Um, he was in a really tough spot here. And... I think he was losing his queen here no matter what, right? So let's play this out. So even if he were to take here, boom, check, uh, let's say this way, this is the better way. So we, he couldn't get forked. So the queen was lost here either way. So pretty rough. And then, yeah, man, just this trifecta of minor pieces on the fourth rank here. It's just tough to deal with. Um, looks like he can just trade off. That probably would have been his best bet. Yeah. So he really just had two mistakes there. That pawn push, which looks like a good move. Um, but there's a lot of calculation involved to figure out that it's kind of a bad move. Um, but if I can just be critical... I don't think he should have captured this piece, if I'm being honest, because there was the fork follow-up here as well. So, um, yeah. This is one of the rare games where I didn't have any egregious, egregious moves, so um, I don't think there was a whole lot to review here. Hmm. I was really just after, so this is an inaccuracy, knight to e5. Um, I was really after just pushing his bishop away. Um, that was really just the goal. So. And it looks like my worst move was sort of not recognizing the fact that he could uh, fork the knight and the bishop here. So that was... Uh, a bit of an inaccuracy for me as well. Okay, cool. Well, it's a fun game. It's always a bummer to win on an abandon. Um, I'd rather just win on either resigns or mates or something like that. But hey, it happens. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.